Okay, so I've done a previous video on how to improve flex feeding in these uh, clone BMG extruders. The main problem being that, you can see this one's completely standard. I might put a zoom picture in, in the video, but filament feed path, despite it being constrained where the gears are, have a screwdriver. at this point here, at this point here, it's okay with a relatively firm filament but a flex filament will tend to, if I can get it, let's get it in there. It can quite easily start to wander around this part here or this part here and then it'll all snag up and won't feed and that causes all your problems. So my previous video I talked about building up material around here which does work quite well but after lots of insertions and swapping of filament it'll break and it's a bit of a faff. So uh, this is a way of doing it much more permanently and uh, you shouldn't have any issues at all going forward. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this apart, I'm going to drill the PTFE guide tube all the way through, a 4 mil hole all the way through there, I'm going to take that out, 4 mil hole all the way through there, and then we're going to feed this steel tube up to the gears and down to the gears, and we're going to grind the end so that it effectively mates right up to, that's a better view here, it mates right up to where the gear starts to pick the filament up. And then there's nowhere for the flex filament to wander off to and then all of a sudden these cheap bmgs will feed absolutely anything so we'll just drill that through like i say it's a four mil drill bit uh, and then we can feed this through i have actually done this already um, with ptfe tube Uh, so you can take like this 4mm OD, 2mm ID tube, you can feed it all the way through the hole there and then you know, I, I cut, it's quite firm this tube, but I you know, cut it with a Stanley knife at 45 degree angles and you know, pushed it in there and it does work quite well. The only problem with the PTFE tube is it'll, it does have a tendency over time, this one not so much, but the one coming out, especially if it's a Bowden feed, it will turn even though it's captive in the uh, in the Bowden clamp it will it can quite easily turn in it and you can end up with the the nice profile piece being at the wrong angle and it catching and then grinding so I'm giving PTFE is very difficult <laughs> by its very nature to glue to anything uh, I thought I'll just buy some steel tube which is a 4 mil OD 2 mil ID and we'll steel tube that up into there make the same sort of profile and then you can glue that and it'll stay in the same orientation but you'll, you'll get what I mean when I uh, when I start showing you the rest of the video okay so we'll just drill a four mil hole all the way through and then we'll be back okay so we've got a four mil hole drilled here all the way through to there these side you might think how do these come out well, sometimes uh, they need quite a bit of levering to come out, but on this particular clone, not much at all. I don't know if it's not been bonded in properly, but you can just lever it out with a screwdriver like that. Now I'm going to drill this side as well, so there's a 4 mil hole through there. And then we can start to profile the metal tube to match up with the gears. So we've now got a 4 mil hole all the way through uh, and this four mil tube here you can see will push it's a little bit a little bit tight but there pushes through so basically what we're going to do now 
is we're going to cut some sections of this uh, so we'll have a piece that goes from here almost to the end of here just enough so that when you put your bowden tube in this end it you know it's enough to grip on and it can interface properly there and another section from here out to here i'm going to profile the end of the metal tube to match with the gears so we'll do that a bit next. What I've done is I've profiled the end of this tube. Let's get it to focus. So you can see. Are you going to focus? Yeah, there we go. So you can see how it's I've beveled it. And what that's to do. If we put one of these, I've got one of these gears in here. If we put that into here, that's how it lines up. And we'll do the same for the lower piece, and then basically the filament path is completely constrained. And you see, that, let's just get that to focus properly. There we go. The problem with the PTFE tube is it would stay like that for a while, but in sort of the course of prints, this side not so much, but this side, which goes off to the print head, it 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 could turn a bit, um, and especially so if you've extracted a filament and then you've loaded something else in, uh, and you haven't kept an eye on the Bowden tube or check the orientation here, it, the the PTFE tube can twist. And then, you know, when you've loaded it in, you, the filament's clamping back down, it can deform all the Bowden tube. Um, so like I say, you can you can get this to work with Bowden tube, but you just got to be really careful with it that it doesn't twist or move in orientation, and there's no way that you can easily stop it from moving. You can't glue it in. So it's easier long-term just to use some 4mm OD by 2mm ID, either brass or steel. I've got steel tube, but you can use brass as well. So we'll do the other side, um, and I'll show you how you make sure that it's not interfering with the meshing of the gears. And then we're pretty much done. Okay, so we'll do the lower first. So we've got the piece there. So what we need to do, push it in so it's just shy of the hole. And then we're going to reassemble the BMG. Put that to there. Put that into there. And then that's assembled now with the tube. Now, if you start to push this to the point where it hits the gears, if you push it too far, it'll start to force the gear lever open. So you want to pull it back until you can fully close this lever again. Keep it clamped and push it as far as it'll go without moving that lever which is, I think, about there. Just check that the orientation is correct. Which it is. Uh, and that's basically the bottom part in the right place. So we can take this off now and mark the tube and then Cut it about three or four mil back from there so that when you feed your bowden tube in it'll go up and inside there and, and make nicely with the uh, this tube so we'll do that and then we'll back in a sec Okay, so we have this piece now. It's got 
up to length. Might need to ream that out, might not, depending on how it's cut. Now it's cut okay. So that bit is the, the lower piece. We can insert that and glue it in in the right orientation. And we could just use some thin super glue to hold that. So I'll push it in and get it in the right place and then drop a bit of glue in there. Okay, so that's it in place. And just because of the way it works, you can just drop a couple of blobs of super glue in there, a couple of blobs in there, maybe one there and one there, and that'll just secure it. I mean, with four mil drill bit anyway, it's, it's a really tight fit and any sort of twist in motion is going to be on the bowden anyway and be taken out by that but you never know over time especially on a long print things can happen you don't want it to move a bit so i would recommend just securing it in there so i'm going to do that now a few blobs of glue uh, and then that's the bottom piece sorted we'll then do the top piece and and it's done so for cutting the tube, uh, I'm going to do the, the top insert now. You basically want pretty much a, between a 30 and 45 degree cut this side and this side. So I'll do that with the Dremel uh, and I'll show you what I mean. See, I've just done one side there. Being a pain to focus, come on. There. Come on. We get the idea. So I'm going to grind the other side as well, and then you've got your your profile so if, somewhere between 30 and 45 degrees um, the angle you might have to play with a little bit and practice a couple of times to get it to mesh nicely with the gears and make sure it closes up all the gaps but a 30 to 45 degree angle should do it okay so profile the top piece and use the same trick of pushing it in just a little bit, ensuring the gear door is tight and then pushing it in as far as it can go without this gear door moving. And then what you end up with is that sort. I'm going to focus, there we go. That's the filament path. And that will feed really soft TPU uh, and it won't it won't escape from the extruder wheel, it won't snarl up inside here or come out the extruder sideways or wrap around one of the main gears. It works brilliantly. So all it left need to do now is just to cut this tube. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not sure whether I want to cut it a bit short and have PTF coming in. I probably will. Um, just makes you know if it's coming off the reel rather than coming into a sharp metal tube you know the ptfe guide's probably better uh, and then yeah i'm going to cut that bit probably five mil short push it in glue that in and put the ptf ptfe tube clamp back in and then this is ready to go well actually one one thing that's a top tip with these things is a <laughs> A lot of these gears don't come quite aligned. You see, there's quite a lot of play on that. I, I shim that with some little washers so it aligns properly. One little tip. And two is the main shaft one, this one. Don't assume when you get it that that grub screw is tight on the shaft because uh, it generally isn't. Uh, and these will spin free. So they need tightening up and thread locking. In the right place but yeah otherwise they're pretty good 
And that's when we're going to finish that off and then uh, it's ready to go. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, all that needs to be done now is to put the Alden piece back in, in the top, which is somewhere on this desk. Um, but you can see the filament path, if you feed the filament in. There we go. Feel it through. No, you know, it's nice and smooth, no resistance. Get that. It's guided very nicely with that now. You see that when we close this, it's stepped away because the filament's in there. Pull it out. It goes flush to the case. So I'll simulate the spring tension and if I hold the gear as well, this is a good test. I should be able to pull the filament. I can't. Let's pull it really, really hard. Let's just do that again. So if I sque squeeze that, in fact, I might have. No, I've not got one. Uh, tension arm, spring bit for this, not got it with me. But if, if I hold that tight, pull that. It's not coming anywhere. As soon as I release the pressure, it comes out. So that's ready to go, that. Uh, so we'll do a print with some really soft, flexible TPU uh, and show you what it does.